Okay. Well, hello there. How is everyone? Welcome. Happy Monday. Uh, happy winter stol 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 solstice. <laughs> uh, it's a big day. It's a big old day in the universe. So I, I hope everybody's doing well. Um, maybe some of you felt a shift. Maybe some of you meditated this morning. It would be a good day to do that. Um, but yeah, let's get started. I'm going to keep this one relatively short. Uh, we all have work and holiday things to do. Well, I don't, but most of you do. Uh, and I just want to keep it short and sweet. Uh, we're going to do Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday this week, and then I will come back next week at some point. Uh, I'm just going to be uh, working on some stuff. So thought I'd give you a little something to, to get you through the, the holidays. Uh, just in case you get a lightsaber or you have time to film a TikTok with a lightsaber, we're all going to do this. That reminds me, I do want to go live on TikTok at the same time. So I should have set this up before. So just give me two seconds. Okay. Mm. Okay, almost ready. Anyway, hi. <laughs> I should have done that before. Uh, let's see who's here and then we'll get started. All right. Hello, Pierre, Michael, Danny, Guillermo, Jeffrey, welcome. And MX Ryan, Fatty Butt, <laughs> uh, Janelle's here, Canal's here, Eric, uh, Vo, Daniel, Tivalt, Lider, um, keep scrolling, Flores is here, hello, Peter's here, Corin's here, John Wick is here. Livia's here, hello. Um, retrieving actions, hi Gabby. Um, still scrolling, still scrolling. And Alex is here. Um, Amira's here, hello. Uh, I'm still scrolling. Enrico, Dr. Gabo. And Maisie. Hi, Maisie. Irina is here. Into the night. Rashid. Sveta's here. Minty's here. Minty, I did get your email. Sorry, I haven't replied. I will reply. Um, <laughs> Thad is here. Hello. Oh, Wolf is here. Lobo Torres. Yova's here. Oh, I lost it. I'm going to start at the bottom. Emery's here. Charlotte's here. Ten Iron. Anthony's here. Hello. Christian. Emmanuel. Josh. Pran. Jedi Moody. Just a human, Dante, Raymond, uh, Ben is here, Shane, um, Kai, Andre, Michelle W, Steve O, um, Sammy, Kelly, Gigi, Richard is here, Brooklyn. I feel like there's a lot of people. Oh my gosh, there is. <laughs> Lou Torres, uh, Tor Franca. Oh, have I missed anybody? District Gaming. <laughs> uh, America is here. Haunter is here. Regent Wend. Um, Captain Rex. Rona's here. Hello. Um, Callie's Cool Gaming. Night Sister Marin. Um, I feel like we're going to be here for a while. I said I wanted to keep this short, and then I'm doing roll call for 42 minutes. Dravis is here. Um, that might be it. Uh, please let me know. Commander Thrawn. Uh, hello. Please let me know if I missed you. It's not intentional. 
did him is here. Um, yeah, that took me 42 minutes. Um, anyway, so we're going to, uh, hi, Ron. Uh, Jackson Lee, hello. We're gonna do a, an easy lightsaber combo today. Hi, Wolf, thanks for joining in. Um, we're gonna do an easy lightsaber combo. I, and one of the things that I hear a lot about is you get a lightsaber, you pay money for it, they're not cheap. Uh, and then you're like terrified to drop it. Uh, so that's pretty normal. Uh, I still have that fear. I'm certainly not gonna be tossing and flipping a lightsaber around in my house. Mostly because, like, we all know what it's like spinning in my house. We're, uh, hi, Consta. Uh, yeah, I, I'm smashing things. The ceiling doesn't look great anymore. But um, we can do a lot of stuff just keeping the lightsaber in the hand. And so it's all just flow and loops and, and just mechanics, which is really nice because a tool like a lightsaber, um, let me turn it on. Excellent. Oh. Okay, let's not do this. I made a whole freaking video of having no sound on my lightsabers and I still can't figure out how to do it. Uh, okay, we got a purple one. Um, anyway, the great thing about a lightsaber is because of the light and the way tree lawn, hello, because of the light, it traces the shape. So the shape stays with you longer than if you were doing it with the staff. The staff does it a little bit. But you see how when I move it, you get you get the tracing of the circle because the light is reflecting uh, faster than the speed of the tool. So the lightsaber does the same thing. Um, so you get a lot of light, which makes it, that's why it's so beautiful. And that's why it's such a stunning weapon and it photographs really well is because the light traces the shapes. So we can do a lot with really simple movement with the lightsaber and it looks really effective and it, it like the aesthetic is there. So you don't always have to be doing like gnarly crazy lightsaber shit. You can keep it really, really simple and it will still be effective. And I've talked about that a lot in my live streams and a lot of my videos is I talk about how you can use simplicity to your advantage. Of course, you're gonna have your skills that you're working on that make you feel like a total badass. You, We all have those skills and you're gonna practice those and sometimes they're appropriate, sometimes they aren't. But you can do a lot with just simple movement. It doesn't always have to be the next best, greatest, most life-changing <laughs> thing out there. So that's what we're going to sort of play with this is combo. So I'm going to do today, Tuesday and Wednesday for this combo. And then hopefully, uh, you'll be able to tag me in some of your videos. And and I can see what you're doing. And then I will say, uh, for TikTok, I'm just trying to figure out how to make like TikTok work for all of us. So if you want me to rate your video, or you want me to um, stitch it or duet it, make sure you tag me and let me know. I'm not going to just come in there and give my unsolicited advice unless it's uh, invited in. So that's the way I'm going to play with TikTok for the next little while. And then we always do these live stream classes here on YouTube. Uh, so <laughs> you know that. And then I have a bunch of tutorials on YouTube and Instagram. And then there's my free course. All the links are in the bio and down below. You know how all that goes. It's the internet. We all know how to work the internet. Um, okay, so... My ring light has one setting only and it's staring into the sun. So let's do this. This looks great. All right, this looks great. Looks great. I'm just gonna move that over. All right. Um, <laughs> here we go. All right, so like I said, I wanna keep it relatively simple with just some easy figure eights. I may just move over a bit because you know the ceiling. <laughs> Today's a really great day to manifest, and I'm manifesting a space where I don't demolish my house. Uh, yeah, so that's what we're doing. So what I want to talk about today is just our forward and reverse figure eights. I call this basic flow. It's the first skill I'll ever teach you if you take one of my staff spinning class. They start on January 17th, if you want to get into that. Uh, it's the first thing I'll ever teach you. It is the base of absolutely every staff spinning, lightsaber spinning, rope dart, any weapon that you're doing, any sort of spinning and manipulation, this skill is the base of all that. So it's the most important skill you ever learn. And then you can change that with the rhythm and the tempo and the texture of it by just 
uh, adding more figure eights on one side, less on the other side, or maybe you're just doing one at the same time. I think that's called a plum flower in uh, some of the lightsaber world. So this basic flow skill is like, you get a lot of bang for your buck, okay? So I do have a full tutorial for it. I'm not gonna go through the whole thing today, but I do have a full tutorial in my free course, uh, which is badassacademy.online. It's in the link in my bio, it's linked down below. There's also a really old tutorial on YouTube called Basic Flow, and it's the first tutorial I ever made. So if you're interested in that, well, here it is. So I'm in my right hand for boxing. I'm in my right hand right now. Um, I tend to hug up towards the blade on a lightsaber just because the balance is better. I'm never actually grabbing the blade if you're one of those trolls on the internet, but I am quite close. Good thing it's not a real weapon. So don't talk to me about losing fingers. Um, so I'm gonna start with forward figure eights. And basically what a forward figure eight is, is it's this infinity sign. We all know what an infinity sign looks like. So what happens is you have a circle in the front side, you have a circle in the back side. So one figure eight equals two circles. So I'm gonna start with forward. And forward means that your top end, in this case it's my blade, is going forward and down, okay? So my circle starts by going that way and it's gonna drop on the bottom half of the circle first. So I'm doing one circle in the front and then I'm coming over the top, making sure my palm comes up and then I'm doing one circle in the back. So you, when you start, oh my gosh, I just, my house, uh, when you start, I can't do it fully in my house, but if I were to do it with the staff, um, where I start people is we do big loops where it's not moving in my hand, but my actual hand is, is drawing the circles in the front, in the back, okay? So that's where you would start. I would also suggest learning all this with the staff first and then doing it with the saber because the, the weight's a little bit different. But essentially as I'm letting the, the saber or the staff, whatever tool you're working with, do the circles, if I wanted to go super fast, me holding on to it with a full grip isn't very conducive. I don't have the mobility for that. Even me, if I'm doing this my whole life, I don't have the mobility to make it go fast and keep my full hand on it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna anchor the saber or the tool, whatever you're using, in between my thumb and my index finger right here. It's really deep into the web of my hand. And then I'm gonna allow my other three fingers to just loosely open and close. Now you don't wanna be doing the whole thing with these dainty fingers. Don't need dainty fingers, but same thing as when you're doing Kali or any sort of weapon where you, you're not holding on to it with a full grip the whole time. What you do is you loosen your grip and at the very last second you tighten your grip and that allows for a lot more efficiency in the power and it has that snap to it. So you can do something similar to that with your forward and reverse figure eights. So as I let the top end fall, I'm gripping with my anchored grip, but then I'm gonna let my fingers loosen up and then the saber or the staff is gonna do the full circle for me. I can let gravity do most of the work. So I can do that in the front plane and the back plane. So as I come to my circle in the front, I'm opening my hand, letting it come, and then I close my hand as it reaches the top of the circle. And then as I shift my hand to the back, I let gravity take the blade down and then I re-grip on the other side. So it's staying anchored between my thumb and my index finger, but I'm allowing the grip to open. So the saber's actually moving a little bit in my hand. So if I do it facing you, I have one circle in the front, one circle in the back. Now it's really important that you understand the difference between forward and reverse. That is pretty much the secret to basic flow, is knowing which way is forward, which way is reverse, and not having to think about it. So again, generally you're gonna hold your saber blade up because it's a sword. So when I think forward, think of walking your dog, it's walking you and then you let the blade fall and it does the bottom half of the circle first. So that's your forward figure eight. These are very intuitive. Kids will actually pick up tools and weapons like this and they will do a version of a forward figure eight. So what you wanna do is you wanna be able to do your forward and reverse figure eights, we're just doing forward right now, mindlessly without thinking about it. This is just your like, idle basically you know when you're playing a game and they're here or weapon forward <laughs> yeah that's the equivalent of your forward and reverse figure eights your forward and reverse figure eights are 
underlying every single skill. So it's, it's to your advantage to spend time on this and download it into your body so you don't have to think about it. So four figure eights, make sure you can do it in both hands because you do have a left hand, you should use it. I made a whole rant on that. Uh, okay, so that's forward. Now let's talk about reverse. Okay, so if forward means your circle starts down, reverse means your circle starts on the top half. So you're doing the rainbow half of the circle first. And again, you're doing one circle in the front, one circle in the back. I'm gonna hit something in my house. And you're still tracing this infinity sign shape, only this time I'm sort of actually leading with my pinky or my hilt end or the blade, the bottom end of my weapon, whatever I'm using. So I do the top of the circle. I'm gonna let gravity take it around. I'm re-gripping, I have to come up, I have to leap with my pinky, get my palm up, and then right away I've gotta shift my hand into the back, lift up the top end, push down, scoop away, it comes up, to the back, comes through, shift to the back, up, swing down, shift through. So reverse figure eights are slightly more confusing than forward figure eights, they're less intuitive, so you're gonna have to spend some time with them. I suggest, again, do it with the staff first, and then going big circle, scoop around, transfer to the other side. Big circle, scoop around, transfer to the other side. Always knowing that your circle goes up and over, down up and over, down, on both sides, so that you get that full motion, and go slow. Go slow, make it bigger than you think you have to, and then eventually you can start condensing it, and that's where you're gonna get the speed from, but there's something we talk about a lot, and that is slow is smooth, smooth is fast. Speed is a product of proficiency. It is not something that you're actively pushing for until you get to those later stages of having mastered the skill. Until then, until you have reached mastery, you're looking for smooth because smooth will go faster. If it's all clunky and chunky, then oh, you, you, like, good luck trying to move that thing fast, okay? So again, you're still doing a circle in the front, circle in the back, I'm leading with my pinky edge, leading with the pinky edge, leading with the pinky edge. So then when you see me do it facing you, notice that I have to move this hand to the width of my shoulders. So however broad your shoulders are is however much you have to move the saber for you. So I'm just going to the very edge of this shoulder, to the very edge of that shoulder. What's going to happen if you don't move your hand towards your shoulders is it's gonna come straight down the middle, you're gonna bonk yourself on the head and oh man, if that were a real lightsaber, you would've chopped your head off. Um, but it's not, thankfully, it's just plastic. Uh, so if that's happening to you, that just means you have to take this hand and move it over so that it has a path to go on. I'm just trying to find some space. And then eventually where you're going to find speed in that is you're going to learn your body's natural width and then you can push it faster and it'll be smoother. But until then, just go slow, over exaggerate how big you need to make these circles and then eventually you'll be able to condense it and make it a little bit tighter, okay? So I go into those a little bit more in depth in the basic flow tutorials that I have. There, again, there's one in my free course, there's one on YouTube. All those links are in my bio or down below. Um, I just wanna briefly touch on what I actually wanted to add to the combo. I didn't realize I wanted to spend that much time talking about figure eights. Um, all I wanna do is for this combo is I wanna start with a couple four figure eights and then I want to come through, reverse, and then we're back up and over, and we'll go into like high-low whip or something tomorrow. So all I want you to do is practice, that you're gonna to have to do both sides. The basic mechanics of a figure eight and the circles that you're always creating when you're doing any sort of weapons manipulation, I'm not talking about combat, even though there are circles in that as well, but in the actual just spinning of it. You are always creating circles. You're not gonna make any other shape. That's not how this universe works, apparently. So when I'm doing my four figure eight, if I wanna make it over to this other side where reverse happens, all I have to do is finish off the loop that I'm doing, swing down across my toes. Imagine you're chopping your toes up, turn 180 degrees, and so that I'm on the other side because you're 
sabers or your staff, they're moving in the same direction. So reverses over here, forwards over here. So I can just connect those with a bigger circle because you're always creating circles. So forward, finish the loop on the back, swing down, bring it up, and that's gonna take you into reverse figure eights. Now, if you were just doing reverse figure eights, you wanna make sure that as you swing down, as soon as you start reverse figure eight, you're actually shifting into the back plane. It's gonna happen sooner than you think. What I wanna do for this combo is I just wanna do half of a reverse figure eight and then boot it back over to forward. So to do that, you're doing forward, going slow, forward figure eight, here's a loop in the front, loop in the back. Finish the loop in the back till you come to neutral. My blade is just out like this. I'm swinging down across my toes as tight to my body as I can. I'm not gonna change my feet, I'm just gonna twist. I'm gonna bring my arm up. So I'm gonna go forward here. I can, you have an option. You can do one loop in the front, one loop in the back, and then come up and over. You're doing the opposite end of the circle, think rainbow. And then you end up back in your forward figure eight, or you can just go straight to the back plane. And that's gonna require a little bit more forethought and anticipation of what's coming next. So uh, if this is just your first time, stick with the front and the back. If you've been doing this for a while, then just go straight to the back plane and then come back over. But just make sure that as you swing down here, I know you can't see it because I don't have that wide of a frame. As I swing down here, as I bring this up, I'm just following the natural mechanics that we've already created. So you have to make sure that this blade end comes up and over, scoops down to the floor, and then you're going right up and over like a rainbow again, okay? So forward to reverse, back up and over. I like doing, personally, I like doing the, root, the loop in the front and the loop in the back. Uh, first, rather than just going here to here, I like going forward, swing down, front, back, up and over. Okay, so play with that, take your time, know that these skills are not built in 10 minutes. You can learn a lot in 10 minutes, but if you're looking to master this and find some comfort and ease in it, because that's where the real aesthetic and performance is, is when you feel good and you feel cool doing it, that's not going to come like this. So take your time. Enjoy the process of learning something that's very physics and mechanically based. That's all this is. It's just physics and mechanics. You're just learning how to use levers and counterbalance in order to create a circle. You are always creating a circle. So take your time. Enjoy the process of learning, and then eventually the skills will start appearing for you. Go slow. It doesn't have to be a fast thing. You could literally do it, especially with the lightsaber. You could literally do it this fast, and I'm going pretty slow. You could literally do it that fast, and it still looks cool, okay? And then even if you get it, and you're like, okay, I got it. I've downloaded it into my body. You don't have to go any faster than that. Where the real magic of it is the confidence that you just hold yourself in. So regardless if you think you're doing it right, just own whatever you're doing. You know, like my coaches used to tell me that, like, if you're finishing a routine and it wasn't that great, just finish it strong, like it was the best thing you've ever done. And you might actually trick the people watching you into thinking that it was the best thing they ever watched because you're so confident at the end. So it's all about like how you feel while you're doing it. And like I said, it's not something that you're just going to learn in 30 seconds. You might if you have a, a complementary athletic background, but not everybody does. But everybody can learn this. Trust me. Everybody can learn it. But you have to be willing to learn. You have to come in with an open mind. And you have to be willing to open yourself up to failure. And you have to be willing to open yourself up to success. It's just the rules of life. And like we talk about a lot, I tell, ugh, I tell my people all the time. Drop your staff. Don't drop your saber. Practice with the staff first. Um, but drop your stick. The more you drop the stick, the more you're going to learn and the faster you're going to learn. So keep that in mind. If you're worried about dropping this, this shouldn't ever leave your hand. But if you're worrying about dropping it, grab a different tool. Do it with a different tool for a little bit until you feel comfortable doing it. And then you can come back to your saber. But the moral of the story is, is you got to try. And you got to be willing to... <clears throat> let yourself really like you got to be willing to really give yourself 
give yourself a good try. I know sometimes we want instant gratification. That's the world we live in right now, but that's not how you learn things. These things take time. This is a patient practice. Um, so just enjoy the process. And like I said, I have tons of tutorials. <clears throat> I have my free course, which is the five essential skills of staff spinning. Basic flow, the skill we just did, is in there. If you can do it with a staff, you can do it with Sabre. Easier to learn on a staff than a Sabre, just saying. Um, so there's my free course down below. Uh, I have a whole, like, several playlists full of tutorials on my YouTube here. Uh, there's also the Online Badass Academy, which is an online training platform that I have. It has 30 plus tutorials all the way from a beginner level. So if you don't know anything, start there. Uh, I also have online group classes starting in January. I finally set those up. And so you can get to that through my website, michellecsmith.com. All the links are in the bio. I give people ask me all the time, do you do tutorials? Literally the links are in the bio. They, I, I don't know what else to say. Links are in the bio. Go check those out. Choose your own adventure. Just start clicking on things. You might go on a wild ride. Who knows? Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. We're going to add on to that tomorrow and the next day. And then you'll have... Oh, thank you, my friend, for your lovely gift. Um, yeah, we'll work on this for the next couple of days. So you'll have some time. But like I said, take your time. Uh, be wherever you're at. Wherever you're starting in this adventure is exactly where you need to be. And it's exactly the perfect place. So everybody's starting from a different space. But we're all going towards this end goal of just feeling like a total, complete badass. Um, what time? I usually start these around 1 p.m. Pacific time. So I'm on the West Coast. Uh, so 1 p.m. Pacific. I'll answer a few questions. Oh, Maisie, um, thank you so much for your uh, generous offer of an emoji diamond ring. Um, thank you for your generous proposal. Uh, I, I think you're lovely and your skills are coming along really nicely. I will politely decline your proposal in marriage, though. <laughs> Thank you so much. I really appreciate you. Thanks for coming out. <laughs> um, uh, okay. Is there a question that's happening? If I want to learn what you do at a place, where should I go? I, there's not very many places that teach this, my friend. You could try, like, Filipino martial arts, uh, Cali. Uh, but where you're going to learn this... There's not very many places that make it accessible for you to learn, unfortunately. So we have the internet. Here I am teaching you things. Uh, like I said, if you want me to help you on TikTok, just make sure you tag me and ask me to do so. Because uh, I'm not going to give my unsolicited advice without uh, asking. Um, Vader Blade says, is a longer hilt better? I like a longer hilt on a lightsaber. Uh, mostly because I'm not always keeping in my hand and it provides me a little bit more real estate to move things around with. Uh, but I have a flow saber where the hilts is literally this long and it is so effing heavy that I can't actually do anything with it. Like it, it wrecks my shoulder just trying to get it moving and then trying to stop it is a thing. So a longer hilt is easier to work with, but not at the expense of additional weight. Mm -hmm. Hi, Finno. Hello. Um, Soto's Kun, how long is the blade of your lightsaber? This one is about three feet long. I think it's too long. My elegant weapon saber, that's my favorite saber that I have, is, um, is slightly shorter. So the whole thing, hilt and blade, is about three and a half feet. And I think that's a really nice length. So if you had a, like... This one is, this one's like over three feet, I think. Um, yeah, I think a little bit shorter is better. Obviously, the shorter you get, the less light you get, but the easier it's going to be to work with. Mm. Um, and I will say this. I know that I need to address this because I did a, a YouTube video of unboxing a DX Saber the other day, and I just sort of like shut everything down after that because I needed a break. Um, I wasn't aware of the DX lightsaber uh, situation, but I will say this. I cannot 
get behind the opinions of other people on the internet if I haven't had that experience myself, though I understand and I am empathetic towards the experience some people have had with that company. Uh, I will say, though, uh, my experience has been very positive. Uh, so I'm, I'm going to give them the benefit of the doubt to correct their ways. Uh, I'm going to send an email to the owner and make sure that he is aware that if I hear of anybody who purchases a DX lightsaber because they saw me do a video with it uh, and they don't get the like the best customer service and their orders are correct and on time, uh, please let me know. Because if that's the case and it, it turns out that it just they're they're not willing to correct what they've done in the past, I will take those videos down and we will not talk about those sabers ever again. Um, but until then, I'm going to give them the benefit of the doubt that they can correct themselves and and uh, repair their reputation in some capacity. I feel like that's the most authentic place I can come from and the most authentic thing I can do uh, because my experience has been positive with them thus far. Um, so let me know if you start having any issues and we will address that. Uh, that is my spiel on that. I said I was going to make this shorter and somehow we're at 31 minutes. Uh, okay. What is the best lightsaber? That is really up to you and what you like using. Um, I like the elegant weapons saber. So far, that's my favorite one. Um, could you show us your collection of sabers one day? I will. I'm actually going to do a video of that in the new year. Um, I'm not going to do it today because I don't have the majority of them in here. Uh, have you used a baseball bat to do tricks? Yes, there is a video on my Instagram of me doing sports. And by doing sports, spinning a baseball bat. Uh, do you prefer thick or thin handles? I like on the thinner side. I don't have large hands, so I like something I can really wrap my hands around. That sounds like something else. <laughs> We're just going to keep going. Uh, I'm sure you've answered this before, but I just joined. Welcome. As a uh, starting saber, what do you recommend? Uh, if you're just starting, try to just find one that's cheap, honestly. Uh, I would also start with the staff and then maybe get like a, a practice sword or a shinai or something. This is about the same length as a lightsaber. And you're going to really learn a lot about how a weapon in that category is going to move because they're all going to move relatively the same. The weight may change, but the physics and the mechanics are not going to change. So learn on something a little bit cheaper and then you can... Uh, do your research and invest in a, a more sturdy lightsaber when you're ready. I, I would hate for you to spend all this money and get a really, really nice one and you haven't quite uh, built any skills and then you end up wrecking it. So uh, keep that in mind. Um, how long have you studied Filipino martial arts? Er, I started, it's been over 10 years now. Uh, I, I, I will... Uh, over 10 years, like almost, maybe almost like 14, 15. Um, I will say that a lot of my initial skill came from my own background of baton and dance and just being able to move in space. So I kind of came in at a slightly higher level, uh, but I certainly do not know everything and anything about anything, uh, which is what I really like about martial arts is I just don't know. I haven't been doing it my entire life yet. Oh, she yeah, ever so slightly declined. Um, okay. Uh, what's the largest animal you could theoretically throw? I think like a good medium sized dog, I would think. Um, I would never do that. Uh, but <laughs> I wouldn't want to throw anything heavier than that. Uh, Wolf says. Oh. Is it better to start with a long or short blade? Uh, can I get a, can I like get a wooden staff or a stick like to train with? Yes, I, I just said that. Uh, my tool of preference, what I use the most, what you see in my videos when I'm using a staff, this is a wood dowel from a hardware store. It's literally $6. You can get them anywhere. This is hockey tape. I live in Canada. There's an abundance of it. This is just silver tape. You don't have to put silver tape on it. But a $6 staff is a really, really great tool to start with. It's inexpensive and you can drop it, you can break it, and you can always just get another one. 
and then start with a shorter blade if it's an option, but learn on a staff first, learn how the physics and the mechanics work. The, the, the skills are going to be the same with any tool that you're using. Like I said, it's the universal language that all these weapons share. Uh, so you can, if you can do it with the staff, you can do it with the saber. If you can do it with the saber, you can do it with the staff. Um, so yeah, how often a week should a beginner practice? It's however you want, however long you want to um, practice. I would say for optimal results, like we're at 35 minutes. It's just so clear that um, I live alone <laughs> and have no one to talk to. Um, if for optimal results, practicing two, three times a week will bring optimal results at the beginning. If you want to practice once every three weeks, do that. If that makes you happy, do that. If you just do it when you feel inspired, wonderful. Um, but if you want to improve quickly, uh, give yourself like a practice day, day off. Practice day, day off. That's going to give your brain and your nervous system time to create the neural pathways that you're building while practicing. Um, and then as you get better, you could increase the practice because your brain has more capacity to take in more information. Uh, if you don't want to practice, then don't practice. You want to ask me the last time I practiced? I don't remember. It was a couple weeks ago. <laughs> so do what feels good to you. That's all I want. I just want you to enjoy the process. So if you want to practice a lot, great. If you don't want to practice at all, great. Um, what's the length of the staff? My staff is personally four feet long. Uh, you could do whatever length feels good to you. Uh, you speak so well. Have you ever thought of being a voice actress? I do a lot of voice auditions, actually. Um, and I do do public speaking because I enjoy that. I literally do it every day. Um, I'm like one of those people that loves public speaking and is not afraid of it. Can you connect yourself in seven levels to Kevin Bacon? I'm sure I could. Um, but I don't know who I know who knows Kevin Bacon, but I know I know someone who knows Kevin Bacon, but I don't know who it is. Um, can you please show or teach a cool lightsaber ignition? I literally just taught a half an hour lightsaber class. Um, do you have any sort of weight at the end of the staff? You could, I have a video on YouTube of how to make staffs and I do in that video put some weight at both ends, but right now, just because of my shoulder, I use no weight. Uh, the weight at the end can be helpful. It's a nice way of just making it a little bit heavier, but it's not necessary. It's not going to change the mechanics. It's just gonna make it a little bit more heavier in your hand. So you're gonna get a little bit more feedback from your nervous system with it, um, but it's not necessary. Um, okay, maybe we need to stop. <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, who is heavier, Ozzy or George? Um, George by a long shot. George is a much bigger cat. He is very big boned. He's a big guy. Um, when did you start? I was five years old. And when you started, did you hurt yourself? I still hurt myself. I still whack myself in the face and the elbows and the ears and the feet and the ankles and the knees um, and the fingers. It still happens. It's just part of the game. You're throwing a, a metal plastic hard thing around. Of course you're gonna get hit with it. That's just part of it. Uh, what's your favorite food? Um, I like steak. Uh, speak Spanish, no. Um, George is a unit, he really is. He really, really is. Uh, how many times have you door dashed in the last week? I haven't done any door dash, actually. I've been cooking myself. Uh, also, last week I was on set, so I was eating, um, I was eating uh, on set and eating food. Uh, you give feedback on Instagram. I'll do a little bit of feedback on Instagram, but it's harder for me to do that because I usually have to write a big novel about it. But the great thing about TikTok is I can literally like stitch or duet your video and give like active feedback as you're watching it, which is what I really like about that platform. So take advantage of that. Um, what costume uh, have you worn that's been most difficult to spin in? I had one on Van Helsing last year where I had a mask. I had a skirt, so I'll spin in a skirt the whole thing, but it was, there was a mask and it was like, I couldn't see had no peripheral vision and you don't realize how much you use your peripheral vision doing this until you have no peripheral vision. Um, but it was fine. I did fine. 
It's all about uh, muscle memory at that point. Um, okay. Just. Um, do you primarily do staff or do you know other weapons like nunchaku? Um, I do a lot of other weapons. I don't necessarily play with uh, nunchucks at all, uh, but I can learn them. Like I, uh, I can see how they move and I can see and be like, oh, I could learn how to do that. I just haven't. Um, you were in the magicians, right? Yes, I was. Um, um, most weapons share a, a universal language. And yeah, so if you can do one weapon, specifically staff, it's a very neutral weapon, you can do them all. Um, okay, we're gonna stop. It's been 40 minutes. I said I was gonna make it short and here we are. Um, thank you so much for being here with me today. Uh, thank you for your awesome questions and comments and participation and likes and follows and all of that. I really do love and appreciate absolutely all of you. Thank you for being such an important part of my day and this whole isolation lockdown experience. Um, <laughs> thank you. I really do. Like, I'm, I'm just so in awe and so proud of this community. I'm so proud of your, your just consistency and willingness to show up and improvement in these skills. It's been so lovely to watch you all go through this journey. And I'm looking forward to seeing more of you go through this journey with us. So please feel free to join the Badass Family. There is a Discord link in my bio and down below, and that's going to connect you to the greater community. Um, there is a Discord. Uh, the links are in my bio. Uh, if you want more training, I have online group classes starting on January 17th. We do them on Zoom. There's a beginner, intermediate, intermediate two. You can register on my website, michellecsmith.com, links in the bio. Tons of tutorials on YouTube, so follow me there. Tons of stuff on Instagram that's different from all these other platforms, so follow me there. Um, and then there's my free course and the Online Badass Academy. So just literally, you go into the comments, or you go into the link in the bio or the down below, and just start clicking on things. And it will take you on a wild adventure. That's what the internet is, so just do that. Um, and then you'll find your way to some other people that are awesome. Um, anyway, thank you so much. We'll be back around this time tomorrow at 1 p.m. Pacific time. We'll add on to this lightsaber combo and we'll just see where it takes us. Hopefully not uh, 45 minutes of me just talking because I haven't had anyone to talk to. Um, anyway, have a great rest of your Monday. Have a great week. Happy holidays if you do that sort of stuff. Um, I will see you again tomorrow. Okay, bye. Okay, bye.